my top 10 faves of why you should have a destination wedding. Number one, save time planning. Number two, offer memorable priceless experiences for you and your guests. Number three, save money by combining wedding and honeymoon. Number four, enjoy more quality time with spouse, family, and friends. Number five, which is one of my favorites, unique photos. Number six, wedding perks. Number seven, have guest experiences like no other. Number eight, have a wedding weekend. Number nine, save money by picking a location that is within your budget. And number 10, the perfect way to cut your guest list. Set up some fun excursions they can do. Jet skiing, water boating, rum game night. I'll take care of all of that. I'll see you at crystalmarieevents.com. So many people ask me, Crystal Marie, how can I save money on a destination wedding? And I'm like, girl, bad, duh. Hire Crystal Marie Events, crystalmarieevents.com. I will take care of everything, okay? Offer memorable priceless experiences, jet skis, game nights, all you can eat, all you can drink. Offer that to your clients. You really can't do that when you're doing a local wedding. Save money by combining your wedding and honeymoon. Turn it into a wedding week. You have your wedding on Saturday. You have your honeymoon for five more days after that. You can even go to a different island, a different resort. Get the bang for your buck and just make it a getaway. Enjoy more quality time with family, your spouse, and your friends. Some of your guests, wedding guests, stay out of town. You haven't seen them in 10 years, five years. Your BFF lives in four cities past shores. Hang out with her on the beach, sipping mojitos, sipping water, if that's your thing. My favorite, my favorite, 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 unique photos. Okay, first of all, your photos won't look like everybody else's with the same building background, the same weather, the same smiles. So you have the palm trees, you have the water, you have the tropical bushes, you have the turtles. Hey, some you'll see a whale or sea animals. Have fun with it. And your photographer will capture all of that environmental flow. Wedding perks. Some resorts offer wedding perks where you can have bells and whistles depending on how many rooms you book, that type of thing. So definitely get the bang for your buck that way as well. Have a guest experience it like no other. Have different type of activities they can do. Hiking over the water or under the water, snorkeling, scuba diving, a rum game night. Have fun with it and guests will remember that stuff forever. They're not gonna remember the, the color linen, the nasty chicken you, you ordered. They're gonna remember the experience that they had with you guys. Have a wedding weekend, as I stated before. Turn it into a five to a seven day event. Save money by picking a location that is within your budget. Have a set number of what you guys wanna spend and then pick your location based off of that. Some locations are more than others, but you can definitely find a reasonable location for you and your spouse and your family. The perfect way to cut your guest list is to have a destination wedding. Let them cut themselves. If you run into your best friend that you haven't seen in 20 years, your middle school best friend, and she's like, hey, I saw you were engaged on Facebook or Instagram. I wanna come. And you say, okay. You thinking to yourself, I'm not gonna pay for you to eat, but if you pay for yourself, you can come. Some people will pay. Some people aren't going to be able to do it depending on the time of year. But let them cut themselves if you're a type of person who uh, just kind of feels bad. You want everybody to come. You want to invite everybody. Invite everybody. Send out a nice save the date. And let them cut themselves. Let them let you know if you can go. So that's it. My top 10 faves of why you should have a destination wedding. I'll see you at crystalmarieevents.com.